Welcome to the Adventures of Adam. I'm Adam, let's adventure. And welcome to my free to play Rares Only Plus Challenge. In this series, I'll be progressing through the game using only rare, uncommon, and common champions, as well as champions who are free and permanently available to all players. However, this challenge prohibits any limited time promotional champions, as well as any temporary fusions. The reason I set these parameters into place is because I want this challenge to be educational and relatable to as many people as possible for as long as possible. So with all that out of the way, let's dive in. Just a quick recap, I have fully unlocked the sparring pit, but have no immediate plans to upgrade it. I've unlocked level 1 of the gem mine, and all my gems from here forth are going to go towards fully upgrading it. In the sparring pit, I have 5 4 star food champions leveling up to 40. Once they hit level 40, I have 20 4 star chickens sitting in my reserve vault, ready to rank these ones up into 5 star chickens. Once I've done that, I will 6 star my reliquary tender. This past week, I took the Elite Clan quest to upgrade 100 Uncommon Champions to rank 3. Upon completing that quest, I gained 350 Clan Gold. I also picked up two Expert quests, one that tasked me to place 50 increased speed buffs in Classic Arena wins, and another that tasked me to place 100 increased speed buffs in Tag Arena wins. Each of these quests yielded 200 Clan Gold, which gave me a total of 750 Clan Gold this week, all of which went towards claiming 5 fragments of the Void Legendary Champion, Yakarl the Scourge, an elite crowd control champion. I've also been busy hammering away in the Tag Arena, using all 20 of my tokens every day. Doing this has enabled me to exchange the Tag Arena currency for Drexlar Blood Twin Fragments, putting me at a grand total of 19. This puts me on track to acquire him on day 106. But that's a long way off, let's focus on something a little closer. In 5 days I will finally have Haikatoon, one of my favorite epics in the game. I'm hoping, once I've gotten her 6 starred, I'll be able to farm stage 15 of Minotaur so I can start grinding out masteries for all my champions. But if by chance I can't farm stage 15, I'll pivot into farming gear from either spider or dragon until I can. A few days ago, I made a community poll asking if I should take the plunge on Longsword Vorux, or if I should hold off for a better option. The community at large voted in favor of holding off for a better option, but my odds of pulling a better rare crowd control option are pretty slim. Each time I pull a rare from an ancient shard, there's only a 0.6% chance of getting any one specific champion, meaning I may never actually pull Narlhorn, or at the very least it could take months before I do. As much as I love Narlhorn, I may just have to go Torox here. I am in desperate need of crowd control. Which brings us to my Doom Tower progression. Right now I'm stuck on floor 16. The Mortu Macabre and the final wave is the gatekeeper of my progression. If I can crowd control Mortu and prevent him from using his hidden skill Peril, I'm confident I can beat the wave, which is where our hero Torox will reign supreme. Well, hopefully. In terms of faction wars, I'm just using whatever rares I have with whatever garbage gear I can scrounge up. Pretty much just clearing the first stage of each for now. I'm mostly just interested in getting the gems, tag arena tokens, and energy refill from my advanced quests each day. Progression here is not a high priority at the moment. Classic and tag arena are just hit the blue button every 15 minutes and look for free wins, so nothing too exciting there. And I've made no further progress in clan boss as of yet, still sitting at a 3 key hard and a 1 key normal. But I'm hoping once I get 5 champions with full masteries, I'll be able to push up to Brutal, which brings us back to Minotaur 15. Getting Minnow 15 on farm ASAP is my sole focus right now. Luckily, I've already purchased masteries with gems for Aethel and Shield Guard, so I'll only need to grind them out for 3 champions. That will save me a ton of time. Anyway, that pretty much wraps this one up. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like. Doing so tells YouTube that what I'm doing here is good and it makes it more likely for them to push my videos out into other people's feeds. And if you want to keep tabs on the series, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. If you're looking for more gameplay of the series, I do a live stream every weekend, and if you want to catch up on everything so far, I put a playlist on the left hand side of your screen of the whole series so far. Thank you so much for watching everyone, hopefully I'll see you in another video soon, but until next time, happy rating.